Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Well, it's just after 7.30 a.m. Wednesday morning. I got up early and got myself showered and cleaned up because I wanted to hit Walmart and I hate going when it's crowded, so I always like to go first thing in the morning. Had breakfast with hubby, hubby just left, and he calls me on the phone and he's like, Liz, you gotta go look out the front window. There are tons of geese in our front yard. And I said, they're back? And he goes, oh yes. So I was like, wildlife at its best. Let's go take a peek, shall we? Holy smokes, look at all of them. Oh my gosh, look at all those geese. Just look at them. Looks like they're soaking up the morning sun. I hear some of their friends in the distance. Check out the beautiful morning, guys. Beautiful. Oh, I hear their friends. Oh, there they're flying. There they are. Let's see if they're going to join their buddies. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I think they're going to join their friends. Yep. They joined their buddies, guys. Listen to them all talk to each other. So cute. Was that not the coolest thing ever? I love mornings. I'm such a morning person, I can't even stand it. I have to get up early and I gotta start my day because if I get up at nine or 10, I feel like I've missed half my day. Yeah, so I'm up and ready to go. You won't believe what happened yesterday. I was getting ready to go somewhere in the powder room and my lip liner flung right out of my makeup bag into the toilet. So I have no lip liner today. So I had to put on this, this Kylie Jenner uh, matte lipstick. I feel naked without my lip liner. Anyway, let's go to Walmart. Let's see what, I, what kind of mischief I can get into there. I, I went to a new Home Goods that opened up about, I don't know, 25 minutes from my house yesterday. And Home Goods by my house, they had no good Christmas stuff. Nothing, nothing nothing excited me. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I may just be sticking with what I already have. I just, I told myself, you're not going to spend money on things you don't absolutely love. And there was nothing there that I loved at either store. I couldn't believe it. I was like, boring, boring. So let's see what Walmart has. Oh, I hope they have something I like. Off we go. I was gonna sing, off we go, wa -wa -sling. We're too early for that, we can't sing that. Check them all out. I'm on my way to Walmart and I had to stop by and say hello. Hi guys, hi guys. Beautiful morning. I just got back from Walmart and let's just say I was less than impressed with their Christmas decor. For me, it was like more of the same, very similar to last year's Christmas items, a little bit different here and there, but for those of us who want a change in direction from farmhouse, they need to offer more options, peeps. Everywhere I went, farmhouse, 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 and you guys know I love farmhouse, but sometimes we want to change. We want something a little more classic or traditional or elegant. And it was a lot of cutesy pootsy farmhouse stuff, which, which is cute, but it's not what I wanted for my Christmas this year. So hi, yeah, I put some stuff in my cart. I walked around with it for a while. I looked at it, walked a little more, looked at it. And then I picked up the items like, Liz, do you really want this stuff? And Upon further inspection, I came to the conclusion, Liz, this is just really cheap C-R-A-P, put it back. 
so I did. They had some beautiful, they look like garden ball, balls, but they had pine cones all around them. They were so pretty, but when I picked it up, they were like falling apart on me. So it was cheap, C-R-A-P, crapola. I'm just gonna say it, that's what it was. I did in the garden section find uh, some pretty wreaths. So I bought four of those and then I bought two beautiful coordinating garlands with pine cones in them. They're very classic. And I thought, well, if I have to, I can dress it up with my ribbon of choice. If I wanna throw some beautiful Christmas ornament, ornaments in that are more elegant looking, I could hot glue them in. So, you know, I may have to make Christmas my own. Like buy a staple piece that's just very classic and jazz it up Liz style. Come on, home decor places. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Yesterday, home goods, <clears throat> both home goods I went to horrible, horrible. And it's just more of the same from last year. Come on, let's get creative, peeps. I may potentially be having to do a lot of DIYs this year if I can't find what I'm looking for. It's crazy, it is crazy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, peeps. If you find something, get it while you can because a few weeks back, when they were putting out all the fall stuff out, they actually threw a little splash of Christmas out and I saw all these cute things. and. And I thought, oh, it's too early, it's too early. And then I now I go and there's, it's really slim pickings and it's just nothing I would buy. So anyway, enough about that. We're gonna do a haul, mostly beauty products, but I'm gonna call these my fall favorites. And they're all from Walmart. And I will try to link these products in my description box if I can find them on Amazon. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? So I hope this video isn't gonna to be too boring, but I know that I've had a lot of you ask me what products I use and all that, so I just thought I'd go ahead and share them. Okay, first product I'm absolutely in love with. I discovered this about a month ago and I'm hooked, I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. How many of you like a really good hairspray? I hate hairsprays where you spray it in, spray it in and say you want to poop or you want some curls and it goes flat on you. This stuff is amazing, amazing. It's Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray. It says turn up the volume with high hold, irresistibly touchable, smells good, and I get the one that's, um, you can get all different strengths, I guess, for volumizing. Um, and I got a four, cause I want something with a tight hole. Sometimes I curl my hair, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I wanna, you know, put, do up a, like a big poof. And I need some, I've got thin hair, so I need something that's gonna hold a poof. This stuff rocks and it smells amazing. It, it smells so good, I wouldn't steer you wrong. But anyway, my new fave. So also to as all of you know, I have color treated hair and it's dry and it's thin and it's just yucky, right? Um, so I kept seeing commercials for this shine spray and let me put my glasses on. It's Garnier Fructus Style Brilliant Shine Glossing Spray. High shine finish, and you guys, I love this spray. Just, I wanna show you, I'm hoping you guys can see. Look, look how my hair looks a little dull right now. Can you guys see the shine? I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but it. I love this stuff because with color treated hair, your hair gets really dry. And this stuff is just like, you don't wanna to go too crazy cause then your hair can look oily and you don't want that. But sometimes when I get out of the shower, I will spray this on my hair and then brush it out and then blow dry it. And then when I'm done blow drying, I will, and I'm done styling it, I'll give it a nice spray with this stuff. Awesome. Another product I love, this is if I'm gonna hot iron my hair, which I don't, I, do very, I don't do that very rarely. If I'm going somewhere and I want it to look real sleek and straight, I will use this stuff. 
Um, this is also too, you could use this too when you're, uh, well, it's heat protection. That's what it is. So if you get out of the shower and you wanna blow dry your hair, it's a good idea to spray this on your hair and then dry it. And then when I flat iron my hair, I'll spray it on my hair and then, and then use the flat iron. And it leaves your hair super shiny. You can get your hands through it. It's, this will do the same thing, but this is, this is what you wanna use. So I love, love these two products. And I'm gonna link these in the description box below because I know they're on Amazon. Okay, let's talk shampoo. Now, I didn't, I they, they were all out of the conditioner as usual, but I love the Herbal Essence um, Birch Bark Extract um, Shampoo. If you guys go there, get the conditioner too, because it smells so good, so, so good. Like, so, 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 so good. And, when I get out of the shower, I can actually get a brush through my hair. Have you guys ever tried shampoos? And when you go to brush your hair, it's like you can't even get your brush through. This stuff is awesome. So anyway, get the conditioner that goes with it. They didn't have it, so I can't show you. But I did get a new product. Where's the other one? Hold on a second. So I came across this. This is, I haven't seen this in the store as of recent or at all. So I decided to try it. Now I will warn you, it does smell like men's cologne. So if you don't like men's cologne, you're not gonna like this. It smells actually really, really good. And I'm a huge fan of the, their product be, products because I know it does wonders on my color treated hair. So anyway, this one, this one is a detox, real botanicals, 90% natural, shampoo, 0% silicone or colorants, and this one as well. Yeah, so, and this one's replenished. So, good stuff, guys. I'm gonna try this out, I'll let you know, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it because I've pretty much tried all their shampoos. This is my all-time favorite, and there's an orange one. Um, if you guys go to Walmart and you see the orange bottled ones, those smell amazing and they work really good in your hair. So I'm pretty confident that this is going to be good too. So anyway, make sure you get the hairspray and then try the shampoo and conditioner. You will love it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always looking for a good hand soap for the bathrooms. And when I saw this, I'm like, I really don't like the the packaging's okay, but I like something a little more feminine looking, if you will. But I, I already bought this, so I know it already smells good, and I, I love this. This is Everyone Hand Soap, made with plant extracts, pure essential oils. It's spearmint and lemongrass. And let me tell you, it smells divine. It smells so good. I already have it in my downstairs bathroom but I love it. So you guys might want to try this because it's, it's really good. I go, I go and buy hand soaps all the time. And sometimes I buy some and I'm like, after you wash your hands, I'm like, I don't like the way that smells. And then it drives me nuts all day because I can smell it. But this one smells divine. And I think you guys would like it. So give that a try. I forgot. I have another shampoo I bought. Guys, <laughs> We go through shampoo like crazy in this house because of there being five girls. So um, I got another Herbal Essence uh, Blue Ginger Refresh. And oh my gosh, this one smells so good too. I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong with these shampoos. They're, they're just awesome. Next up, let's talk, let's talk about our breath. Who wants bad breath, right? Right? I love this product. Have you guys tried it? It's Smart Mouth Clinical DDS Active Activated Oral Rinse. It it says 24 hour bad breath prevention. And I am all about good dental hygiene, good smelling breath. I I've been getting this for the last couple years and I have to say it totally works. Like if you go to bed and you brush your teeth before bed and you swish with this, you will wake up and not even have bad breath. It's awesome. Um, and you know what? When you get up in the morning and you swish with this, 
you, re you really don't even get bad breath during the day. So I'm a, a, a very big fan of this. I think it was like $11 and some change, but it's worth every penny, every penny. It's also prescription strength and it says all day clean breath. And what else does it say? Gingivitis and bleeding gums protection. So try it out, I'm telling you, you'll like it. The next product I am absolutely in love with, I would buy stock in their company because this product is just, it's amazing. For any of you that suffer with joint pain or joint discomfort, if you suffer with migraines, allergies, sinus problems, I don't even know if this is intended for it, but I use it and it works. I'm a firm believer. I, I have a slight migraine coming on right now and I get this, this product, it's awesome. I got the roll on one this time. When I get a migraine, I roll this on my forehead, my temple. Sometimes I'll put it right here behind my ears. It It's like a cooling sensation. And I'm telling you, it takes the edge off. Sometimes it will take my migraine or headache completely away. Um, I do get joint pain and so sometimes like if we're getting rainy, awful weather, I'll get joint pain in my hands. I will just come and kind of go like this, rub it where the joints hurt, you know, wherever. It, it, it gives it like a cooling sensation and I'm telling you guys, like I'll go like this, where my, wherever my joints hurt. This, I can't even say enough. This product is amazing. I also have like really bad allergies and I don't even know that this product is intended for this, but like I will rub it right here when I can't breathe or I'm stuffy. Just that cooling sensation, it feels like it opens everything up. So anyway, love this you guys, get yourself some. You can get it in gel, you can get it in a lotion form, a roll-on form, so there's something for everyone and just whatever you get, it's going to work. I've, I have all three and I love it, but this one I love for migraines. I just put it right on my forehead and it, and I can then say done. So when I was going down the cleaning aisle, I came across this Glade Icy Evergreen Forest Room Spray and I sprayed it and it smells so good. So I stocked up so I can have these in the bathrooms under the sink, ready to go. This smells amazing, get yourself some. Okay, so do any of you guys have those wax warmers, the wax melts? I found these at Walmart today and I, st I just got three of them. This is a Woodwick Highly Fragranced Wax Melt in Fraser Fur. And you guys, it smells, it smells like Christmas. It smells so good. I'm telling you, get yourself this one. And it's open right there, so you can do the sniff test when you go and find it. I also got myself some Yankee Candle Balsam and Cedar Wax Melts. Oh, it's Christmas, it's Christmas. It smells divine. And then, oops, sorry, a little piece came off. I gotta put that back in the box. Um, and then I came across this one. This is Yankee Candle Al Alpine Morning. Oh my gosh. It smells so good, you guys. I can't wait to put these in my warmers. But anyway, they had a whole bunch to choose from, but these struck my fancy. I guess I have Christmas on the mind. So anyway, I stocked up. Guys, what did I get? Well... I, I'm really liking these eyeshadows. It's Maybelline. What is this? So I can tell you guys, it's Maybelline, the City Mini Palette. I like that there's matte colors and shimmer. So you can put a little bit of the shimmer in here. So I got two different ones. I got this one, cause I love the plum color for fall the plums and the browns and the beiges. And then you can do a smoky eye if you want. And then I got this one. And this shows kind of what the color will look like. And then this one, you can have fun with that one. Anyway, I got these. 
I picked myself up some lip liner since mine went in the toilet yesterday. I got some Revlon in, let's see, what is this? Chocolate, I believe. I got chocolate because, is that chocolate? Yeah, it's chocolate. I am lost without these, let me tell you. Anyway, so I got that. I am loving the Rimmel um, eyeliner pens. So I got two of those. Oops. They just glide right on. You don't have to mess with it, which I love. This is my favorite um, mascara, Voluminous. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I love this mascara. I got some cheaper, I ran out and I got, I was using some cheaper stuff and it took forever to coat the eyelashes and make them look long. So I will be happy as can be to have this back because this makes it go on really fast and easy and long, makes your eyelashes look long. Next up, my girls have been sneaking my happy, Clinique happy perfume in my bathroom and I, I I went in there today and there was like hardly any left. So when I was at Walmart, I came across some Clinique's Happy. It's my favorite perfume. I am a creature of habit. I rarely deviate from the norm. So I picked myself up some more Happy. I think it was $29, so it was a good deal. Um, and then I am loving these flossers for your teeth. Um, they're called Cool Floss. They kind of taste like mint. And they have these little picks on the bottom. So you, I just love the picks. So if you eat some chicken or steak or whatever and something gets in your teeth, you don't even necessarily have to floss. You could just use the little pick at the end to get it out. But anyway, love these. And got myself some Lubriderm lotion. I like this for, it's for normal to dry skin. I have very dry skin. Don't ask me why, but I do. And what else? Well, that was pretty much my big toiletry haul for shampoo, hairspray, hair shine, all that good stuff. So anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Oh, wait, I do have more stuff. I also got this True Match Concealer. This stuff, is amazing. I like to use it. I can't believe I'm going to do this right now. I like to go like this sometimes. And I uh, I like to call it an automatic eye, like a facelift. I don't even use like those beauty blenders or anything. I just use my hands. But you go down and then up. And then it's it says true match. So it's supposed to like blend into whatever your skin tone is, I guess. Um... But you can see it like makes you look more open. Then you put your powder on and then your blush and everything. But so if you're having some, if you didn't sleep well the night before and you want like a little bit of a lift, I'm going to do this eye because this eye needs it. Um, this stuff is awesome. And I use it and I prime my um, upper eyelids when I, before I do my makeup. Um, I love this stuff. Sometimes, and I always do this after I do my makeup. Like, you know how sometimes you have um, fallout from your eyeshadow and it gets kind of like weird? Um, I'll go in with this stuff and then I'll put my powder over it. I know it looks crazy right now. I don't have my makeup bag in front of me, but you can see it like helps the bags. It conceals, you know? And, and let's just... Let's be honest, I need it. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap this video up. You know, I do have some other things to share. I think I'm gonna hold off and wait till Friday because if I can get my act together, I wanna do a laundry room makeover. And I went to Walmart today. I got myself a, I can't believe I did this because here I am saying I didn't want anything to do with Buffalo Check and I go and I get a Buffalo Check, um, what do you call it? Tablecloth, tablecloth. And I'm going to show you how to make your own valance using a tablecloth, of all things. And I, bu I bought myself two shelves that look like shiplap yesterday at Home Goods. I did get that. And I got two, what are they called? 
little floor mats and we're gonna accessorize. Yes, that's what I plan to do for Friday. It may change, don't hold me to it, but that's what I'm planning. So I'll, I think I'll hold off. I'll start next video showing you the shelves that I got, the tablecloth and the, and the curtain rod and the ribbon I'm gonna use to make this valance with. So stay tuned for that. But uh, anyway, this will wrap up my random little video today. Um, thank you guys for stopping by. I love you all so much. I love you all to pieces. I really do. And uh, I'll see you guys Friday, okay? Mwah! This is a busy, busy week for me. I've got homecoming and a cheer competition this weekend. And all kinds of stuff in between. This mom's like, I'm running ragged, guys. But we'll get through it. See you Friday, guys. Mwah!